This is Holden on Sport on News Talk ZB with Harcourts. Have your property managed by the Bay's number one team, Harcourts Property Management. <laughs> Hawks Bay's News Talk ZB, a winter sports coaches special, kicks off now. Tim Lewis is a rugby coach. He's a, a native of Arkansas in the USA, played and coached rugby 10 countries over 19 years. He's coach of the Hawks Bay Rugby Union under-13s and coach of the Napier Pirates Premier side. He's with me now. Good morning, Tim. Hello, Tim. Well, he, he, he was there. No, he's gone away. Hang on. All right, we'll we'll try it. Uh, we'll try and do it on the fly, as it were. There we are. We'll make the call again. See if we can't get him back again. If it's the, if the phone is going to ring, maybe his battery went flat, eh? Oh, there we are. We're ringing now. See if we can get Tim back Tim. again. Good day, Tim. Ross Holden, News Talk ZB. You're on the air now. How are we doing, Ross? Good, thank you. Where did your interest in coaching rugby start, Tim? Well, let's see. I, I was in the Marine Corps back in 86 to 92 and uh, just learned a little bit about it. And then uh, when I went to university and they uh, recommended that I come down here and learn the game properly. So you, you came down to New Zealand and then went back yeah, to, Amer- went, down, went back came, to came, America? Went back to America? Go back to America? 92. Okay. And... Um, where have you coached in the world? Uh, let's see, I coached up in Canada, and uh, so I spent this last season in Santa Monica, uh, California, and then I've just I've been about five seasons coaching here in, uh, down in Nelson Bay and uh, up at the Bay of Plenty with Terranga Sports, uh, Reparella, and uh, now with the Pirates. How's rugby going in America? Is it on and up? Uh, we're growing in numbers. Uh, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that the, the uh, competition is getting that much stronger as far as um, the level of play. You know, we're no, nowhere near the, the level of club rugby here in New Zealand. But um, as far as uh, the numbers, we're definitely growing. We have Nigel Melville is our CEO over there, and I think he's done some good marketing things to promote it. Do you see a day when rugby will be very firmly on the radar in America? You know, I would hope so, and if, if we continue going the way we are, you know, people have been saying that we sh- they've, they've been predicting that for 20 years. I, I'm waiting for it. Um, you know, I think it has to do with whether we get a youth playing rugby. The, the younger we can get the guys started, obviously, the better we're going to better we're going to fare. Struggling to get a sort of any foothold in universities or college. Yeah, I think that's actually probably the best thing that's happened this last uh, year. Or so they were really promoted at the university level, and. Um, you know they're getting a little more organized. They have a they have a new uh, league over there this year. Um, it's a college premier league, and they, I think they've promoted like thirty teams into it. And hopefully that's going to uh, uh, promote the level. You know it's going to be it, a lot of it. I think depends on the coaching. I, I feel like the coaches are important because you know a lot of things start with you. The structure, uh, you know, the things that you can pass on to the players. So you, you, as a coach, I think you can actually lift the level of play. Do does the rugby does rugby sort of do, do the public of America do they understand rugby do they understand the concept of the game? And uh, no, definitely not the general public. Uh, well, I think what you find is uh, the majority of people have hardly ever even heard of the game. Yeah. Uh, but the people who do start playing it, uh, they really take to it and fall in love with the sport and you know embrace it. Uh, they're some of the you know they're probably some of the most passionate people I've ever met when it comes to following the game. You're coaching Napier Pirates at the moment in the Premier team. You're the backs coach um, for that side. How are you going? You're pleased with the progress? Uh, you know, I think, yeah, we're going really good. Uh, it's, a, it's a new experience for me, Coach this club, and, um, you know, they have some good people over there, Phil Rumpler and a lot of good players. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, we're, I, I say we're going really good. We're progressing nicely. Of course, you know, we'd like to win every game if we could. Uh, but um, the, the competition in Hawks Bay is, is really fair competition, and uh, on the day, I think anybody can beat anybody. Yeah, you've seen a bit of rugby around New Zealand at club level now. What, where does the Hawks Bay competition, the Nash Cup competition, sort of fit in your vision of New Zealand rugby? Uh, well, for, what, for one thing, Ross, I'd say that New Zealand club rugby is the best club rugby I've seen in the world. Um, so, 
you know, I think we, we judge it pretty hard. Uh, we mm. judge these players. They're, you know, the club rugby players in New Zealand, especially in this first division at Hawks Bay, are some of the best. They can go to any country in the world, and they're going to, you know, teams are going to be really happy to have, for, to have a Kiwi from Hawks Bay show up and play for them. Um, as far as in New Zealand, you know, I, I know we're a small province and we have a little issue with numbers. Um, but uh, so, you know, we, we, I don't think we're up there with the Aucklands or the Wellingtons, uh, but definitely. You know, we're there with the Tasman. It's you know, it's still a good a good level of rugby. Yeah, indeed. Um, what's your ambitions, Tim? Uh, well, you know, I, I enjoy coaching every year, uh, regardless of who it is I'm coaching. But eventually, you know, it'd be nice to make some money uh, <laughs> coaching. You know, that's it's, it's a passion. But unfortunately, like a lot of people in New Zealand, I pay to coach or pay to play Mm. um so you know eventually it's nice if you can take something you're passionate about or a hobby of yours and turn it into uh an income so uh, ultimately i'd like to be a professional coach at some level when when this club season's finished in hawks bay with pirate what are you going to do do you go back to america then or Uh, you know i will i'll I'll eventually go back i have a my brother and i have a company over there and uh, i'll go back and help him for a few months um, and then I'll uh, possibly come back the following year here, depending on, you know, what's, what all is happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've thought about going over to France. Uh, you know, I know there's 28 professional clubs over there. And I've thought about going over there uh, and seeing if I could uh, make a few contacts and possibly uh, take some of the skills that I've learned here um, and, and maybe, maybe get a job over there. Tim, great to chat with you. Keep up the good work with Pirate. The traveling okay in the uh, Nash Cup.